Hello and welcome. This is my last video for this year, which we are saying goodbye to. And I wanted to open like a holiday doll. This is actually winter edition, uh, Monster High holiday, and this is Kudin. And I have Draculaura from last year, which hmm, why don't I bring her? There she is, I love her. Uh, you can check out, I have a review of her, uh, if you haven't seen that. And uh, I'm, I don't like the idea that I missed out on Skeleta, by the way. I have Claude and uh, Cleo from Valentine's and uh, I saw that this going to we are going to have another set for this year for uh, Valentine's too and uh, I'm not gonna say who is it gonna be with because I don't know how official the news is but I'm gonna say that it's going to be pink and it's going to be <laughs> with two dolls so I'm excited about that too I, I like that set on the pictures and I didn't open my Valentine's set because I decided it looks better in the box but I will open this one because I have opened this one last year and uh, we are go I'm going to get her out of the box and we are going to come back to the box and uh, talk about this image a little bit because it's interesting but I want the doll to be out so I can show you uh, from up close what I mean let's see I cut some tape up here and she should just slide out oops can I slide her out not in front of the camera there we go Ooh, I like the background it's very pretty we have Kudin's little symbol, some snowflakes, spider webs, and I'm gonna snip her out of this box. Be right back. The struggle was real. Oh. <laughs> I understand now why people are complaining about the hair. What have they done? Uh, good news is it's Saran, and Saran is very easily treatable but uh, yeah the hair isn't nice like it's a nice fiber and the color is amazing but uh, the shading which I think for Saran is normal when it comes out of the box but it's all sorts of lengths and it is just like messy which I guess they wanted to give her uh, textured hair which makes sense uh, Kudin to have textured hair more often uh, but I don't know Mateo have some issue with Saran hair for some reasons so if you hear weird noises I'm getting the stand out of the box uh, they always, when they heat treat, sorry <laughs> for the noises, but when they heat treat Saran, they just don't do it well. They, they have some sort of issue with doing uh, hairstyles on Saran and especially with giving it curls, which I don't know why. Like Saran is pretty good. Uh, fiber but it happens a lot and also Saran suffers a lot from box hair I'm loving this stunt it is very sleek I don't know if it will be able to hold her well we're going to see a little bit later uh, but let's talk about the doll right now I love the design and there is this controversy with this doll uh, she looks like nothing like what she looks on the box and what I mean 
let me like that and let me get my doll nearby are you seeing how different it's focus there do you see the size of the yellow uh, compared to the size of the white and then the size of the pupil how uh, more you know the, the the iris is just more opened and uh, her eyes are more relaxed while here you can see how much space there is be between the yellow and the uh, eyeliner while there there is no the pupil is basically well the the yellow part of the eye is touching the liner and also do you see the shape of these eyebrows and then the shape of these eyebrows they're completely different eyebrows and it doesn't look like uh, she's making a face this is why her eyebrows are sitting differently they look like she plucked her eyebrows in a completely different way also this doll here on the box has these curls you can see more on this which they are like big curls while here they try to give her small curls that are like uh, naturally texture textured hair sorry for some reason i can't speak today uh which i get and i don't mind but has nothing to do uh the the hair and the face of the doll has nothing to do with what we are getting at the end and a lot of people are very unhappy with that um, and a lot of people hate her because of her hair but also by the way I think this might be backwards like I think this is the back and I'll tell you why do you see this little hmm, maybe they should be on the front what do you think so is this piece backwards like if you take it and you flip it the other way around i don't know if these were painted like gems it would make sense but do you see how it curls like forward a little bit and i think it should go backward i don't know um she's different i'm not gonna lie but uh some people see how can mattel produce a doll that is so massively defective i don't think that this is a defective doll well the hair maybe they don't have the technology to uh texturize saran hair like well but the face, I don't think that it is a mistake. Uh, she's not wonky. She is just printed in a different way. Just somewhere along the production line, someone uh, had to change the way that the eyes were painted. And they gave her like bigger eyes and uh, more open eyes. And like uh, softer eyebrows. And they probably allegedly i don't know for sure but it makes sense the packaging was already ordered to be made and these were printed and this is like a prototype doll that they took the pictures of here and uh, they didn't scrap that they decided to use it so they can ship the dolls to us so we can have them before christmas which she she did arrive before christmas but i wanted to save her for the end of the year because i feel like she's more uh new year's and tomorrow or today depending on when you're watching or yesterday but yeah i'm planning to post this maybe on the 31st or the 30th i don't know exactly when i will be able to you know tomorrow or the, the day after that depending on when i will be able to edit but uh yeah i decided that she's gonna be new year's eve for me but I think this is what is happening here. It's not like it's a mistake. It's like 
they probably had already ordered and paid for this to be made and they didn't want to, to change it because uh, somewhere in the production line, line they couldn't do that or some someone, I don't know, for a reason decided that uh, this face is better than the other one and is it better? I like it, I'm not gonna lie to you, I really like this doll to be honest I like Claudine more than I like Draculaura. I like Draculaura's outfit and hair like perfectly but I wasn't really happy with the way that Draculaura's eyes were painted uh, last year uh, but I'm very happy with uh, the face of this doll and I think she could have had more relaxed more closed eyes but uh, it's pretty and I love yellow eyes and uh, purple hair so much and it's not just purple it's actually blue and purple which is absolutely beautiful uh, this curl <laughs> yeah the curls are very sad but I will fix them I will wash the hair and I will cut off everything that is way too long uh, it is not a problem for me but it shouldn't come like that like I understand the rage of a lot of people because yeah I did see a lot of people being very unhappy online with uh, how nasty the hair looks and by the way it's not greasy it's actually just shiny and feels good to the touch but just I don't know what they did with these curls maybe they were fine when they made them but just the way that they pressed them to the box uh, messed them up I really love how sparkly her lipstick is I don't know if it's reading on camera but it's very holographic and I love it I do like this piece but I still feel that there is something off about it I think I will be able to wash the hair without removing it so it will stay like that yeah the hair is tangled here and you almost don't see her ears but I still like the piece it reminds me of what Gulia had on the I don't remember the name but we had one Gulia though this year uh, from G1 so you know that one I am not crazy about this little bracelet because I think it's I don't know it's too big and it doesn't look like a bow it just looks plastic uh, let's see she has a little cute shrek which I like it when Claudine comes with fur it makes sense for me that she would come with fur it is just like a scrunchie basically but without the elastic stitched up in there it's very nice and soft it's full for obviously and the dress um, I don't like usually mermaid skirts but I like the fabric of this one it doesn't look cheap it is printed on and it is on the cheaper side there is nothing on the inside like this is ugly but uh, the way that they have made it with the is it two in English too I don't know this kind of uh, fabric and with the little belt I really actually like it is it something that you would usually see Claudine wear I'm not a hundred percent sure I like that it is uh, purple and black and gold these are her colors I like that her hair is uh, completely purple I just like when they change uh, hair colors like that you know I don't like every doll to be the same I didn't have any of the collectors versions of Pudin let's see about the stand while I am talking uh, and now I have like a fancy Pudin uh, she's not like hound couture or anything but to be real with you I don't know uh, why hound couture are so much more expensive than the holiday dolls they have layering and maybe like that's the reason but I don't think that it's like 
enough reason how to put her on this stand. Like, ah, there we go. These stands <laughs> look so terribly uncomfortable. I know that they are those, but <laughs> there we go. The stand is not going to be able to stand because I am on a carpet, but on let me on the surface like hard floor she's actually stable and my shelf is such a surface so she's gonna be okay and i like the stand i just don't like getting it on because it's awkward i don't know strange uh as i was saying i do like the dress is it a hundred percent like something that you as expect coding to wear i'm not very sure about that but maybe for like a gala or something i'm trying to remove this elastic let's see there we go i think she would uh wear it would it have been cooler if she had like a bodysuit or just you know like a suit sure uh but I like the dress, I like the dress. I just like purple and gold, just. It's a color combination and with the black that I really enjoy. I'm gonna have to wash her hair. Um, I don't see a point in undressing her because it's just the dress. Draculora had layers and I did uh, un undress her. Basically, she also has layers because she has the fluffy thingy, uh, but they are a lot cheaper, but obviously everything gets a little more expensive over time. And we have Kitty Cat Cameo. Please be good with my Draculaura. But anyways, uh, I like the doll. I'm not mad about the face. I'm not mad about the hair. I understand that people are disappointed because both of those, the one on the box and the one that we are getting, look different. But I like both and I like what I got. I'm not crazy about the hair, but it's around. Just with the boil wash, I'm not even sure that I will lose the curls with the boil wash. Uh, like with a soak and uh, conditioner and just with my fingers uh, sorting the curls and cutting the extra bits. Should I have to do that for a doll that is that expensive? And to me these dolls are expensive? Uh, no, I shouldn't have to do that. But just boxing the dolls usually flattens their hair in a very nasty way and those with uh, natural uh, small looking curls usually suffer the most from they have the worst form of box hair but yeah this is my new clothing doll um i don't know i think i'm going to tell you thank you so much for watching thank you uh, for sticking around with me during this year um what is your favorite video uh that you watched on the channel and you remember just from the top of your head or if you want you can go and browse and see and remember that way uh obviously video of mine <laughs> and also video of another doll creator why not i don't mind sharing your uh, favorite doll channels in the comments that is actually awesome and i would uh, check them out and uh, Kiki should you be here uh, and she's so decent she wants it because it's fluffy I like her but uh, yeah what I was going to say is uh, I wish you happy new year and I wish you a good year a very just amazing year <laughs> In all the ways you can think of, I'm kind of blanking with my English right now because, as you know, it's not my first language. Uh, by the way, when I'm uh, giving, like, congratulations for birthdays and for New Year in Bulgaria, in Bulgarian, I also blank. It's just something that I'm not very good at doing for some reason. 
and uh, I usually just say I'm wishing you all the best because this is the best that I can say I don't know for some reason it really stumps me to wish something uh, good and meaningful <laughs> and to be a bit more complicated than I wish you all the best but uh, it is very sincere I wish you all the best through the new year and I hope that I see you uh, on the channel I see you in the comments a lot next year I hope that uh, we get some awesome dolls next year I am hoping to switch the channel a little bit to be more uh, creating less buying because life is expensive and uh, I need to save up some money for some big uh, life-changing stuff which nothing bad don't worry just adulting but also <laughs> if we have a lot of good dolls this is going to be like hard for me so <laughs> fingers crossed that uh, yeah there are awesome dolls uh, but also I'm good and uh, I do have like a lot of dolls that I can repaint and uh, can have fun with that and it's also awesome uh, and a lot of made to move Barbies and other types of dolls that they can make clothing for but uh, you can be sure that I'm not gonna be that good I'm, 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 I'm still gonna unbox some dolls here on the channel who are we kidding but I hope that I'm going to be a little bit better during the next year you know it's this time of the year where we think that everything is gonna change we're all gonna be better <laughs> and we sincerely hope that <laughs> Is, is it what usually happens? We're not gonna talk about that. Let's be just bright and hopeful and merry. And thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you awesome uh, New Year's celebration. And see you next year. Bye for now.